All right, what is this video now? Oh, I see. Fly Inside Flight Simulator. And yeah, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video. Today we're finally back on Steam to review another very interesting flight simulator. And very interesting indeed. This is the Fly Inside Flight Simulator. A flight simulator actually built for VR. And uh, the thing is, I don't even have a VR headset. But you can play this flight simulator without a VR headset too. Which is quite nice. And um, so let's do that. Now, actually, this uh, from the video clips, this looks very promising. We've, you know, just generally always having a new flight simulator that looks like this and is realistic. It's always quite fun to, to review, obviously. So let's just really do that today. Um, yeah, this is a 30 euro add-on, by the way. I bought this for 30 euros. Here it is. Uh, you can buy it too. If you should, let's find out exactly that today. And, um, whoa, well, what can I already see? It's, uh, reviews are mixed. Even though the graphics look quite good. Let me see what the people are saying. Uh, mixed reviews also means that there's, of course, a lot of recommending people but um a lot of people are complaining about bugs uh, <laughs> vr crashes almost every flight a buggy unsatisfying mess oh damn overpriced garbage okay um all right then this is gonna be interesting all right let's just make up our own mind here let's just press play now again without a vr headset which is kind of ruining the whole point of this flight simulator but that's another story all right so um i've opened the simulator before what we simply do now is we spawn into a think i think this is a 737 200 cockpit and that's all we do all right first of all that's all that we are spawned into right there all right let's just start flying and the thing is we're not properly loaded yet. What that means is um, the world is still building up while we are standing here. Probably is one of the reasons why people are complaining about the um, interesting bugginess of this whole thing. Okay, I don't know what just happened. We just spawned into a runway in a, I think a 737, right? Yeah, this is a 737-200. So got the stairs out. <laughs> yeah. Alright, time to put the stairs in. And, uh, well, what can we already see? Uh, well, we can see this is not a particularly beautiful looking flight. It came out in 2018. I mean, in 2000 18 we had very beautiful graphics and so many flight simulators and this game could have been 10 years older than that could let me just say that all right but whatever let's just you know actually just go ahead and fly since we're already here let's go to the car pilot seat again there we go and uh let's just find out if we can uh, take off which we can that is good plane uh fly a little very responsibly for a 737 oh man <laughs> Oh, well, as I mean, I, I, I even flew, I, if I flew a plane today, a real one, and, um, well, I can say this is maybe how a Cessna or something maneuvers, but not a big 737-200. Oh, damn. See, I'm, I'm a little, I'm just controlling this with this joystick right here, and, uh, well, uh, I can first <laughs> of all say, uh, this is not particularly very, uh, nicely feeling. Let's take a look at the outside here. We have pretty good looking graphics right here. I mean, at least we have some sort of sad satellite view that is great um plane itself looks like roblox that's great too let's put the landing gear up and see if that works that works great too now of course as always as you know we are here flying let's just see if the cockpit and all that is interactive and realistic which it is yes if we, if we actually had a vr headset which we don't have again because i'm too cheap to buy one we could use all these switches with our hand like it has some of those hand tracking things which is again yeah we're not really bringing out the potential of this flight simulator because you know this is pretty much made for vr but you know let's just check out if all the buttons they do actually work damn there's quite a few buttons here that you would normally not see in uh, other flight simulators just out of the box working there we go most of these actually click a uh, pretty damn realistic not bad on that one See what happens if we turn this one off here. Try to mess with this plane a little bit. Maybe turn the engines off. I don't know. By doing exactly this. We've lost two engines now. Okay, you know what? Let's just actually see. Where can we go here in this flight simulator? I'm not quite sure. Can we even fly worldwide? Because that is obviously very important. Okay, select airport. By the way, what I've not really mentioned yet is the this flight simulator isn't particularly beautiful. Achievement unlocked. Don't do that. Oh, we've crashed. One achievement now. All right, you know what? Let's just go. Can we go to, how about my local airport that I was flying at today? Go there, see what's gonna happen. Night sky, nice. Okay, Um, how do I, uh, date and time, there we go. Let's make it three in the afternoon. There we go, this is what that looks like. Does it look like my local airport in real life? Not at all. <laughs> Let me try out another aircraft too. I mean, there is a few. We haven't actually checked out the aircraft selection at all, do have we? 
I mean, we have interesting planes and stuff like that, but also a helicopter and also, wow, a 717. Damn. All right. I mean, you know, wow, this looks good. I mean, really, the 717 is quite rare to see in a flight simulator. For example, there's no model for X-Plane. There's only one for FSX, and that one isn't too good. So this is really good. For some reason, can you see the nose landing here? It's like pointing out. Can you see that? It's a little weird. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the cockpit view, pilot seat, and take off. No, this isn't uh, this isn't too too bad. All right, let's take off. Here we go. Oh wow. All right, landing gear is coming up. There we go. I do not really see that much of. What is that? What the hell is? That? <laughs> Which I'm interesting scenery bugs, but this is a nice looking scenery anyway. Again, with this 3D uh, satellite imagery, looking good. All right, let me check out some other aircraft. I mean, we've got, you know what? Let's, I want to try the Chinook, okay? This aircraft here, the helicopter. Now, you know, we don't really like flying helicopters here on the channel. All right, let's go. We have some modes here, realism levels, okay? Let's go for realistic, extremely sensitive and challenging to fly. That looks perfectly bearable. Okay, let's <laughs> go ahead and take off there. Yeah? Okay, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, all right, great. Our Chinook is off in the air. Let's just see how this goes here. Let's go to the outside view and see how this oh, how this plane f it's invisible. A little strange. Well, the uh, Chinook plane is apparently in okay. I'm, I now really start to get what they mean by bug. Okay, doesn't want to show up this plane helicopter thing. Um, just crashed too. That's just something that happens sometimes. Okay, um, the the model is gone for some. I'm not. I don't really get this. What's what's wrong here? Okay, now the cockpit is back. Is it also usable? It is actually very much usable. Wow, the switches work. That is really cool. From the realism wise, you know, the switches, they, they, they all pretty much work. That is actually nice to see. I don't know what any of these do. I've never actually flown a helicopter, uh, but you know, this is uh, this is great. What do these red switches do? One of them actually shuts off the engines, do they? Uh, yeah, great flying today, am I right? But so far we haven't crashed this helicopter yet. It's perfectly, uh, Flyable. After all, maybe helicopters aren't so bad, right? See, I don't, I'm not quite sure about the realism of this thing. Because we can literally fly upside down and this thing <laughs> takes like 30 seconds to actually come to the ground, which is probably not realistic, is it? Yeah. Maybe we have something like the DHC-3, a twin otter. Alright, there we go. And well, what can I say? It looks like it could run on a potato. Maybe that's actually a good thing. Good performance, right? Yeah, but the outside models are absolutely bad. I mean, what is okay, I guess, for 2008 standards is maybe the, the cockpit. I mean, at least that one works. That's great to see. See, the aircraft selection isn't too bad either, but what really sucks is just the graphics and the physics maybe too. Yeah, I just crashed again. Great. But the thing is, well, this flight simulator, as even though it's from 2018, it is heavily outdated. That's what I can already tell. I'm so rather spend your 30 bucks on an actual flight, like Microsoft flight simulator. Maybe that's a good, a better, better idea. 30 euros probably is a little bit overpriced for this pretty damn old looking and old feeling. I'm, I'm just look how these texts up here look. What, what are those fonts too? This is absolutely outdated for sure. It's basically highly criticized here too. But if you really want a good VR experience, then you can have a good one on X-Plane too. I don't really get the point of this fight simulator. It is actually, it's not too bad, but it's not too good either. Maybe if you really want to fly the 717 around. <laughs> So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Do I recommend this flight simulator? Not really. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. So you're on YouTube like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Oh Man the Human, DJ Straw, Deload, Tyler Park, In from Osk, Gurkham, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No to You, no, Larry Dislama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Science, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bloviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.